<laughs> oh, look at that, gift of Cali. Welcome to Good Mythical Mar. That means we're donating $1,000 to Action Against Hunger to aid in their efforts of treating and preventing malnutrition as well as a global goal to eradicate life-threatening hunger within this lifetime. Please join us in giving at actionagainsthunger.org. Actionagainsthunger.org. Thank, Thank you for being, being your mythical, mythical best. best. And for joining us here for more stuff. We're gonna look at more EB items. <laughs> Some eBay items, and then we have to guess just based on the description whether it was uh, just a really good deal, yeah. hell of a deal, or if it was actually described as haunted. Because like haunted things on eBay, it's like a whole category of things that are sold. Lots of things are haunted. Before we get into that, speaking of haunted, you might remember we wrote a book last year called The Lost Causes Ooh, of Bleak. Creek. It's a haunted novel. And uh, well, it's scary. If you haven't read it yet, you should. And if you don't read, you can listen to it on Audible, you can go over there and download it and uh, listen to it when you're driving, when you're yeah. when you're jogging, when you're Don't read when you're driving. You know those people like you'll be you'll be like on the highway and they'll have like a romance novel like on the steering wheel. Have you, you seen, seen this? this? Haunted. <laughs> uh, this doll. This doll. This doll. There you go. Show me that doll. That's nice. This, I'm just messing with you. It's, oh, they're fighting over there. Yeah, it's yeah. okay, guys. That's why you did it's it okay. that way. That's why you, you know, did it that way. We're just, we're just here to have fun. Yeah, that's right. I'm, it was really my fault. I'm not even gonna look over there. We're having a blast. I'm not even gonna look over there. <laughs> I'm only gonna look at this doll. Let's look at the first one. <laughs> Shall we? This doll. That would've been, a, it's, there's another way to do it. Instead of saying this doll over again, let's take a look at the first one. Yeah, I know. Shall we? I know. I I did it to mess with them. Wouldn't you like? And to? then I looked over there, and they were, they were at each other's throats. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> we know how you feel. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is my fault. This doll. Let's just skip to the next. No, one. no, 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 no. You you got to read that one. That one was really good. Okay. This doll has a very active and powerful demon in it. Her eyes follow you on Fridays. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, yeah. But just on Fridays so far. <laughs> she seems very, very mad and I can't control her. Maybe you can. She swings her sword rapidly just after nightfall, every night. Please, buyer beware. I mean, if this is not haunted, then I guess I don't understand well, what it's, haunted is. It's certain, well, but it's whether or not they said it was haunted in the description, right? Or if it, if it was what, written? So Bios? yeah, so this descriptions that you're reading, some of them are real descriptions that are attached to the items that you're seeing, and some of them are written by Thank our writers. Thank you for writers. clarifying how the game works. Yeah, that's really funny. So does that mean that that means that our they, writers are funny, or that somebody on eBay is funny? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this is real haunted. I think our writers are funny. Yeah, I don't. Sorry, so writers. With hell of a deal. <laughs> I both think our writers are funny and that this is a haunted doll. Oh. So I was right, but I do apologize. So that's for reals. Yeah, and she uh, she's priced at thirty nine ninety nine. On Fridays, see that's a, that. There's some incongruity here because her eyes follow you only on Fridays, but she swings her sword every night at nightfall. Mm. So it's they say it's haunted, but it's not. You wanna read one? This you're doll. Adding, you're adding an extra element to the game, which is your own opinion, but. This so doll. I was sold these snakes at a flea market by a very old man with a beard. Hmm. He laughed kind of weird when I bought them, and a lot of bad stuff has happened to me since then. Hmm. So please be safe if you choose to buy this and consider this a warning. He hmm. laughed kind of weird. A lot of bad stuff. That's pretty not specific. Yeah, which may, which rings true as as a true eBay description. An eBay description. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is also an an actual eBay description of haunt, you know haunting. My instinct is to go with you, but maybe I can tie it up if you happen to be wrong. Do you make this up? This is. Not haunted. Oh. Yeah, but it is Craig's recurring nightmare, and it's selling for forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. Fifty dollars. All right, That's we're not tied really up. A great deal. This telephone. This telephone. 
This telephone, I've been looking at it the whole time, is 100% haunted. So if you're into that kind of thing, this is the phone for you. The spirit of a woman named Doris lives in this phone and she seems very angry. She's out for revenge, but I don't know for what. P.S. This phone doesn't work to call people. It's just possessed. Um, I'm showing you this to let you know that I am not making up any of this. I don't think that. But did they? I don't think people's spirits can, can they get into phones? That's not what we're, but that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is, is this, an ac is this an actual eBay description of something which probably, yeah, doesn't happen. But I can a person's soul get trapped in a phone? I think maybe it can get like associated with a phone, but get inside the phone and not be able to get out like a genie in a bottle? Yeah, that's just a stupid lie, but I think it's a lie that's made by a real person on eBay. I think that because everything on eBay is true, mm -hmm. that, uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, wait, Link, did you answer the wrong? Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. that means Thank that you. the writers Thank made you. this up. Cause you, you, you confused me and then I confused myself <laughs> when I looked at the paddle. I think it's a hell of a deal. This is not haunted. <sighs> but that's a really good idea for a horror film. The woman in the phone? Yeah, just like, no, like the main, the protagonist thinks that someone's actually calling and they're talking to someone but the phone doesn't work. It's just a spirit inside the phone that but they're that talking to named Spirits can't do that, Stevie. Yeah, that's the problem, oh. Stevie, is that oh, that's oh, physically oh, oh, impossible. Oh, 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 yes, thank you. Yeah. But they can get inside baby dolls. We have another, we have another eBay, uh, we have another eBay, uh, <laughs> have another eBay thing here and this one, this one says, <laughs> This I'm one an, says, I'm Ed McMahon. This one says, I, <laughs> I, but I totally regret that. <laughs> Just Open the envelope, read that. I'm not gonna attempt to do an Ed McMahon impersonation beyond a really non-discreet laugh. You're not drunk enough. This <laughs> unicorn. Bunch of, old, bunch of old reference jokes here. Yeah. How many of you in the comments know who Ed McMahon was? Bless you. Ed McMahon, what did he host? Other, Star he's, Wars, he's, I mean, uh, he Star, Star Trek. Search. Star Search. <laughs> he hosted Star Search, and then he, but he was also- Welcome to Star Wars. Johnny Carson sidekick on The Tonight Show. Ever heard of that? <laughs> Kids. <sighs> publisher's Clearinghouse. Yeah, and he was the Publisher's he Clearinghouse the guy. Is he dead now? Yeah. <laughs> Ed McDead. <laughs> that's better, Dead McMahon, that's better. We all die. <laughs> Dead McMahon. You really one up that joke. <laughs> well, what did I say? Because I hope that comes back and really works as a punchline. Anybody remember what I said? But I, and I don't regret it. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. This unicorn has been with me for a long time. She is a brass unicorn named Cherry, mm. and she loves to sit in the sunlight. She has aided me with many good luck and fortune spells. I feel it is time that someone else should have a positive spirit to aid with spells or help bring in good luck and fortune into your home. Ask. Any questions, just ask. She does look like a good, a good spirit. And I don't she? regret it. Um, I, I think, so, so is this Why a, would you I guess. you sell this though? If you were getting well, good fortune no, and good no. luck. Here's, the, here's what I'm realizing, but, you know. Oh, it's a trick. It, it, people attach a story to things they want, crap they want to get rid of in order to sell it. Mm. I mean, it's, it's just a, it's a long standing principle of marketing. You're right. That you just make up crap. Right, this, this unicorn has not helped with any good luck or fortune spells. But, but it does love to sit in the sunlight, I believe that part. Well, I just believe that somebody wrote this in order to sell something they actually didn't care about. So we're both saying. We're both saying haunted. And haunted. We're both 100% correct. Haunted. Yes. yes. And the seller's asking $250 for it. Get it, $100. get it. Y'all getting it? <laughs> haunted, very active coin. The charm helps you focus on your wishes. 
These are fun and spooky, have been known to move around, shoot off bright sparks around you, and open your intuition and your psychic abilities. Wonderful, unique gift. Let them know it is haunted, though. I put powerful Zizir energy in each piece for protection and psychic ability. Zizir energy. Listen, if y'all made this up, I mean, this is so get a race. The, way, the way that it's you written get a race. Is so well. Like, look at look at this. Look at this. Uh, in fact, it just doesn't make haunted, sense. Haunted, very active coin. The charm helps you focus on your wishes. Like, right? That that doesn't, doesn't make yeah, sense. I mean, it's to, I mean, the sentence doesn't make sense. This is a great description for an eBay item. If you made this up, I hope you guys wrote this one. Those are your final guesses. You oh. need so you need to change no, that. No, I'm saying it's haunted. Oh, I'm saying so you're that, saying they didn't write it. I'm saying that. You're falling for it. Yep. I'm not falling for it. This was written under this roof. It's haunted. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> can, yeah. One of them can Z-Zier. be yours for three ninety nine. Zizier energy. Zizier energy. What right. is Zizier energy? Let's knock these last two it out so that I like can a drink. catch up with you. I had a ton of activity in my house before cleansing it with sage. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Sage a person. <laughs> you know how this works. Was told by the medium that was used that the spirit was and is contained in this jar. I do not want it in my house. This was evil and manipulative. It comes with a warning. To those who open this, I will not be responsible for the outcome. He goes by the name of Luke. <laughs> Peace, love, and light. So Luke the ghost is in that jar. This is too, too good. I think I think somebody could 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 sell Luke in a jar. I think y'all made this up. Luke, Luke in a jar. Peace, love, and light. All right, we've, we're we're locked in. Haunted, but yes. guess how much it's going for? Or it's listed for. Hundred dollars. Well, it's a person. I mean, this is a former person. This is a spirit. Yeah. I mean, eighteen hundred dollars. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> Well, peace, love, peace. and love. You can list anything on eBay. We're only stupid enough to buy it. What do we, I mean. Well, what if you list 100 of these jars and then just one idiot buys it? It's worth it, man. Yeah. That's a good business. Look at Gwyneth Paltrow. Right. <laughs> this doll contains the spirit of Tabitha and Tabitha is a, good gosh, that's scary, a vengeful spirit. We don't know how old the spirit is or what they want, but it's definitely not good. This doll, should you choose to buy it, should be sitting on the shelf facing the wall because she's not to be trusted. This doll is violently possessed and only people who are trained to handle demons should invest. Trained to handle demons? Trained to handle nice demons. try. No, I think, I, you know what? I think this is real too, look at, yeah. I mean, he has a knife. Who's winning? Um. By how much? One. By one. So you better, you better be I gotta right. I got to stick with this. Okay, so right. what I have here, it says, the seller of this doll was warned by many people that Tabitha is haunted based purely on her looks, but the seller does not seem to believe that. So on a technicality, no, she is not haunted, but she's selling for the seemingly haunted price of $666. All right, so we tied up. That's all I really learned. Well, hold on. Oh, right? No. Rep it's one. not haunted, but it is a real listing, and that's really well. Even no, if we tie they, it, they've all it by been one. real listings, but some of them have fake descriptions. What? It's okay. That's we played being the game. sold on eBay. It's I know they're now. all being sold. Was that the last one? Yeah. Okay, I win. All right, fine. He wins. I'll take the frogs. I'm just creeped out. Oh, you want my frogs? Signed copies of our New York Times best-selling novel, The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, are available now at mythical.com. Get them before they're gone.